Do you get disappointed when you have a new OCD problem? We're gonna talk about why it's called an octopus. Stay tuned, that's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a therapist and make videos for people with anxiety or OCD. And I wanna to talk to you about that frustration that can happen when your OCD comes up with new themes and new problems and new intrusive thoughts or new intrusive feelings, that can be very discouraging. It can make you feel hopeless. And I wanna to talk to you about why that is and why OCD is called an octopus, because they're related. But before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified because I make new videos every Thursday. Okay, so why is OCD called an octopus? Let's start with that because I think that this can give you some hope. OCD is called an octopus because it does have many different tentacles with many different themes. A lot of people will talk about OCD as whack-a-mole. Maybe you don't remember the game whack-a-mole, but I do. And it's when you're like taking that little plungery thing and you're trying to hit and the mole keeps popping up in different spots and that's very frustrating. And that's kind of how OCD can feel. You might be making all this progress and you might think, oh my gosh, I am killing it with the progress that I'm making with this theme. And I'm barely even having an issue anymore. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it might feel like, boom, you're smacked with a new tentacle, a new theme, a new problem, a new thought that you didn't have before. And you might feel really frustrated and say, you know what, this isn't working. I'm always having new themes and new intrusive thoughts or feelings. I get rid of one and then boom, I get smacked with another one. But I'm here to tell you that you might be missing the whole view of OCD. The octopus is the beast OCD and the tentacles are the different themes and intrusive thoughts that it might be smacking at you. And you might battle one a tentacle, you might get rid of one tentacle and now the octopus is missing a tentacle. And the octopus as a beast is weaker. It may not feel that way when boom, you're smacked again with another tentacle and now you're battling that tentacle. But overall, the octopus is getting weaker and weaker and weaker until the tentacles are so tiny that they're like psh, 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 and you can barely feel it, if at all. The idea, we'll move away from the metaphor for a minute, is that you are building your OCD muscles you are going to the OCD gym. Every time you learn to sit in discomfort and not do a compulsion, to not ritualize, to get that brief relief, every time you learn how to outlast and outwit OCD, to sit there in the discomfort until it naturally subsides, you are getting stronger. And so it can come at you with a new theme that doesn't mean the octopus has grown 10 feet. It's a new tentacle on the same beast. All your progress is not lost. All your skills are not gone. All your muscles are not deflated. It's just a new tentacle. And to be honest, a lot of times in my therapy practice, when I see a new tentacle and then a new tentacle and then a new tentacle, I see that as OCD sometimes on the run. It knows it just can't get a grip on you. And so it's trying desperately, try the different tentacle. Maybe I can get a better angle. I can walk her upside her head, right? And so sometimes it's because you are making so much progress that OCD is trying to hold on to another theme and another theme, kind of hoping that maybe, maybe you'll give up. Maybe you'll say, you know what? This ERP, this exposure with response prevention, this therapy, these approaches, this sitting in discomfort, doing the opposite of what OCD wants, maybe even being sarcastic with my intrusive thoughts, none of that's working. That's what OCD wants, for you to give up, for you not to like even play the game of growing your ability to tolerate discomfort in all areas of your life, even outside of OCD. So when you get a new theme, maybe reframe your thinking and say, you know what? That octopus is you know, getting nervous and it's trying to hit me with a new tentacle, but I don't care what tentacle it's gonna hit me with, what issues I'm gonna deal with, what I'm doing is being effective and I am attacking the whole beast. I am learning how to live with an octopus. And when I stop 
you know, giving in to all those tentacles. And when I do the same thing with every single theme, I show up, I sit with discomfort, I avoid, and then I delay all the compulsions I want to do. And then I do the opposite and I sarcastically agree with my intrusive thoughts and I do all those things. The octopus as a whole beast gets tinier and tinier. I'm still going to feel those tentacles, but over time, when I stick with it, the octopus as a whole beast gets smaller and smaller because my muscles to be able to handle the discomfort, my OCD muscles are getting stronger. So stick with it, stay strong, stay brave, do what you can do each day, forgive yourself for what you cannot do, have self-compassion. Every day is a new day. And I hope that you find the sparkle in whatever you do. I'll talk to you again next Thursday. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.